I just planned to give uh, iPhone 16 giveaway, not iPhone 16, actually iPhone 17 or iPhone 18 when I channel is reaching um, 1 million subscribers. If you can just make a subscribe and like the channel if you like. Yeah. Welcome back to this new video, guys. So you just watch the final output, right? Yeah, without further ado, I'll show you how to do that. Let's open our browser and goes to Faster Whisper. And there's a GitHub page with that. Yep, you can see that Faster Whisper translation with C Translate 2. Actually, it uses OpenAI's Whisper model with C Translate and then modulates it into a Faster Whisper. So in the README file, you can see that there is two precision types like FP16 and FP32. So the beam size are same and the time are different for each other. So you can see that it is a large V2 model and this is a small model on CPU and it is a large b3 model and gpu i'll explain you this so first we we'll need to download the model so we go to our visual studio code so yep i'm gonna create a new file here now i'm gonna create a new terminal and go to my browser again and here you can see pip install faster as well let's copy this go here paste up see i have already downloaded that so it's telling me quite not already satisfied then there's nothing as well so then the usage they gave the example like this so let's just copy this up and i'll explain you right here now. yeah first from faster whisper we import the whisper model we set this as language v3 actually um a v3 model is actually larger model if you have more powerful cpu or gpu you can use that but this process might take some time so let's go for small dot en this is very fast guys trust me so then model is equal to whisper model of uh, model size and this is called cuda cuda means it actually executes on your gpu so if you don't have a gpu let's change this as cpu so here in computer tab it says float 16 you can also specify for 32 but float 32 is a bit slower because it is a large compute type but also it doesn't make a mistake mm -mm, doesn't make some mistakes also there are int models and uh, yeah we'll just use float 32 or float 16 right now right so segments comma info is equal to model transcribe audio file and then beep size is equal to 5 so i'll just modify this code for our simplicity so yeah i just modified this into this so just these lines of code guys it will work fine so you need to have an audio file before this so my audio file let's hear what i'm saying hello hello how are you so I'm just saying hello, hello and how are you? So, okay, like for the first time, if you do so, so if you have your model size as small en or any other model size, uh, the first thing it will do is install the model on your PC. So it might take some time for your first time to open this file. So I'm gonna go medium dot en so okay um before running the file let's also change this to cuda because i have my gpu and also you just need to specify the language if you have um because it will take some time to detect the language so in my case i'll be specifying this as english and use any language you want guys kindly check out the <laughs> github page readme file before executing with your own individual language guys yeah, let's see if it is running or not let's go click run the file and it'll loading yeah it says hello how are you yeah it just decoded that i'm um, speaking the like hello how are you hello hello yeah two hellos how are you and how are you let's also go the small dot en and let's see if it is working faster yeah this file is quite fast and also you can see that here's the camera and the question mark are appeared right now so yeah both are working fine so now let's see how to real time transcribe using the fast whisper so i'll go new file so guys before continuing with cuda you need to install some things guys i just want to tell you that so if you go to the github page you'll be seeing that for gpu execution requires the following nvidia libraries to be installed so here you see cudnn9 for cuda 12 and you need to install this is a deep network library you go download and you have select your operating system architecture windows version and the executable file then download it and installed with the next 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 button then also note down the version you are installing also before downloading your version you need to check out the note here because it says some version mismatch if you do so then your gpu might not be processing the audio properly right but trust me guys you can also proceed with cpu you know you don't need to install anything for cpu usage you just change this to cpu in order to work with that so it is not actually too slow if you work with uh gpu too so now wait so let's proceed with our real-time transcription now in order to do real-time transcription any download sound device and numpy and the queue from the terminal using pip install method i think you know that and i'm not gonna teach that and also the next variables are sample rate which is thousand 16,000 which actually the faster whisper model works on the block duration will be 0.5 seconds within chunk duration will be 2 seconds if you don't 
speak after two seconds, the model will think that the user has stopped speaking. So it will convert the text. Then we initialize our model here. It is large v3 with CUDA and the float 32 because yeah, I quite told you right. Float 32 uses more precise language conversion method. So it also takes some CPU usage. Oh, sorry, in my case, it's CPU usage. So then we proceed with our actual coding here. Um, yeah, here is this audio callback. And first we go to here. This is actually the code starts from here. Threading dot thread target equal to recorder. First we are initializing the recorder because in order to make the transcriber work into real time, we need the threading module, right? So I've already explained in many videos what is a threading in Python. And if you don't know, please also do Google search. <laughs> I'm not recommending you to watch. Watch my video again. But it is so simple, guys. Threading. Uh, you just need to know if you are a beginner, right? So, so the target is equal to recorder. When we go to the recorder, it just listens to your mic through the input stream, which is the sound device dot input stream, which we have downloaded here. So then, um, while it is recording, it also goes to the audio callback, and these two functions are running in a loop. So then we go with the transcriber. So this is actually the first whisper model. So we call the audio buffer as global because the audio callback is executing the audio queue, which is called into the while loop of transcriber. Then we split each audio buffer into separate variables and feed it into my faster whisper model like here segments equal to model dot transcribe and the audio data and the language and the beam size is equal to one if you have the beam size equal to five then it will be a little bit slower the beam size actually concerns with your speed and the quality of your audio output so let's click on the play here hello i just want to tell you that i had enough yeah this is cool <laughs> yeah you are pretty much faster than I think so you can see that it is live transcribing my audio and I'm not typing anything guys this is real true because I'm just speaking on my microphone and it's just transcribing my audio and it is doing it real time yeah this is fun right so just wait before you quit up the video because I'm gonna cause I'm gonna show you something which is incredible you see, I have mixed up the Olama AI model and the Faster Whisper model in order to make a real-time AI assistant. And you can see this Kati is online. Hey, Katie, just give a high five to my subscribers. Katie is giving a virtual high five to Cardis subscribers. How are you doing, girl? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, Katie. I'm always here to help with any tech-related topics or questions you may have. What's on your mind? Need assistance with anything else? So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll meet you in my next video, have a great day, bye bye.